All right, hey everybody, I'm Sean, and uh, tonight I'm going to talk to you a little bit about music, among other things. And uh, what's really interesting is when I started putting the slides together on this, uh, as a lot of times happens, it morphed into something totally different than what I thought it was really about. And so when I started the talk, I, I knew it was going to be about music, but as I got more into it, I realized that I, the talk that I really wanted to do was all about transformation. Right? It's this idea, um, basically breakthroughs. And this idea that these moments, like these epiphanies that we have when we, we grow and we kind of be, we become a different creature than what we started out as. And you never are able to go back and be that other thing. You just grow into something different. And so I started thinking about this just in the context of my own musical growth. And the more I looked at it, it wasn't a linear progression. It was more like this idea of these periods of quick vertical ascent broken by plateaus. And so I started thinking about these plateaus and what was happening. I mean, basically, those times when I practiced, 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 and I couldn't get any better. You just hit this brick wall, and no matter what you did, you can't get better. And the brick walls are interesting. I like this quote a lot. But I started thinking about those brick walls and what they meant, and what was the thing that broke me through. Uh, and so how many people here have actually read Seth Godin's book, The Dip? A couple of this. So a good number of people, right? It's that period. It's the dip. It's that part where you're in kind of that lull and either you're going to fizzle out and not go anywhere and not get past it, or you're just going to skyrocket right after it. And so I was really interested in the dip. And so in my own music career, I tried to identify those periods. And it was very clear to me that when I first learned tablature, like learning to read music, that was one thing. Uh, getting a, uh, an instructor to help fix bad habits, that was the other thing that broke me through. And the third thing that really just skyrocketed me is the idea of being able to record music and layer tracks and play over myself. And so I started thinking about this process and what was the consistent consistency amongst all these inflection points. And it was the introduction of a new teacher at each step with the book, the other instructor, and then myself being able to learn for myself. And so I started thinking about the teaching process itself and how we, kind of, we, think, we tend to think of it as a building process when we think of teaching, and it's really more of an excavation process. It's really more of, about pulling dirt away and under, uncovering what's already there. And so what's the bigger story here, right? The bigger story is that I think that fundamentally we're looking at education in the wrong way in this country right now. I think we're, we have a legacy of looking at it as a building process due to an old way of needing to produce factory people. And in reality, we need to, we need to look at it more as an excavation process. The problems that we're going to encounter are not going to be solved by cookie cutter people. And they're not going to have multiple choice answers. They're going to need to be, we need to have teachers focus more on excavating talent that's unique to students. They're going to be solved by this kid that's, that's crazy enough and it's taught to, to be creative and it's okay to dare and try to do stuff differently. So um, this is a talk about music. I'm going to try to do a live demo here using something called a loop pedal just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, hopefully. Demo gods will be kind to you and this will work. Bear with me for a second. Alright, so let's see how this works.
him about uh, presenting. He goes, I, I don't know what I talk about. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and that's the thing for me about Ignite is, you know, everybody in this room, all these people I met at all those groups that were up there, all the things we're passionate about, all the things we're excited about, things in your life, and that's what Ignite's about is sharing that. So, big round of applause for all the first time. <laughs>